cases most of the cases have these requirements yeah so if we have to generate an enrollment type a line list for a person for all the program stages or all the uh, events for the program stages which have been added so basically a complete line list throughout from registration till the last program stage so since it involves multiple program stages it is like seeing all the program stages for the person so uh, we need to select enrollment output type we can't select even because even can only tell you the data for one program stage so we will select the enrollment data type I'll show you one example. What do we basically want to generate now? Yeah, so we want to see for a person all the stages for the COVID case based surveillance program. So I have my demographics here. And then we have signs and symptoms, which is coming from the first stage. Then we have the type of test and the result, which is coming from the lab test stage. And then we have the health outcomes, which is coming from the last stage. So this line list basically shows data from three different stages of the program. How can we generate this line list? So here, my table style would be line list. My output will be enrollment. I'm selecting case based surveillance program and I would like to select data from all these stages. So I would say stage one clinical examination and diagnosis. First, I will select some some of the attributes. I would select first name name, sex, then I would select the specific um, data elements from my stages. So from clinical examination, I would like to select underlying condition. I would like to select if there are any signs present for COVID sign or symptoms present. Then from my stage on the lab result, I would like to select the type of test which is done and the result of the test. And then from my stage on the health outcome, I would like to see the health outcome for the person. Right, so I've selected different data fields from the different program stages. I will select this year. And I will select the country and update. So this will give me data across the different program stages for the each of the case. Now, since this is enrollment indicator, it will always pick up data from the most recent program stage. So, for example, if there were three, four tests done for a patient uh, in a repeatable stage for lab test, it will always show you the latest or the recent result. Maybe this person, Zachary Thompson, he had a negative result before. But in the last or the most recent stage, if he had a positive result, the recent data will be shown here. So this is one of the limitations with this line list right now because it takes up the enrollment type, which is the most recent data. It will show you all the data from all the program stages, but only the most recent data. So you would not be able to compare all the events within the program stage. You can always see the latest event for each of the program stages. Yeah, so if this is okay now, you could move back to the learner's guide and exercise four, which is the last exercise for this session. You can practice creating a line list enrollment report by selecting multiple stages. And we could 
we'll give you 10 minutes to complete this line list and then we'll just do a quick revision for the event report session. <laughs> 